What is going on guys? Shaddix here and welcome back to another video where today we're not actually starting off in my world or in my uh, main world because I am going to show you what I'm building in my main world today and that is going to be a zero tick sugarcane farm. Now this looks very confusing and I'm not even going to lie during over the course of me building this today I'm going to be referencing the video I'm using like at least 50 times because for starters when I built this this whole contraption can only be right there first i built it here because it wasn't clear on where to build it and then i found out that was wrong and that it needed to be on the side with the slimes okay so i'm like okay i'll just move to the other side built the whole thing here then i found out it needed to be next to the piston so i had to take it down again and build it here and these um the direction these are facing really matters and that one specifically so basically what this is going to do this was in like two minutes by the way so let's go ahead and time this let's go ahead and give it i don't know 30 seconds from now and see how much we can get starting now and yes it's uh it's very loud so i'm gonna go ahead and back away maybe um no oh well not much we can do about that which is fine we're already about 15 seconds in and I'm not even going to try to explain this, but I will link the video that um, I used. It's by El, uh, El Mango, I believe. I can't remember if it's L or Ill. I'm pretty sure it's Ill Mango. And that dude is like a redstone wizard. It's absolutely insane. Okay, so this has been roughly 30 seconds. How much did that get? A lot. That was over a stack of sugarcane in 30 seconds basically if i were to double this which is kind of how the design goes in the uh video that i will be linking down in the description by the way i promise uh but yeah this can get i think it's like sixteen thousand block or not blocks sixteen thousand bits of sugar cane an hour which is pretty crazy but if i have it divided in half the way i have it here which is probably how I'm going to have it because I don't really have any need for this much sugar cane here. I might double it up on the server I'm on. Uh, I will make sure to show you guys all that because I am working on the industrial district there right now. And uh, I might do that, but the problem I'm going to run into is hoppers. So what we need for this is we need powered rails. We need note blocks, which I literally have zero of. I've never made them. Uh, we need observers, pistons, sticky pistons, stairs, dirt, sugar cane all the works basically everything i probably already have laying around somewhere except for the eight note blocks yeah okay so we're gonna go ahead and hop into our main world and gather up the supplies to make this and then i'm gonna well i'm gonna make it and if you guys wish to follow me uh go ahead and do so or if you want to click uh on the link in the description go visit el, el mango not el mango go visit his channel and look at all the in-depth little redstone contraptions he builds because he is literally just crazy with this honestly he really is all right so we have everything we need in this shulker box so let's go down here and see if we can find a decent spot to build this at a couple of spare materials in here this has got all of our stuff in it i did not check do we have any rocks so yeah we have 19 so we can still get back up there how is this doing i have not checked on this since i made it it's not getting anything <laughs> there are villagers running around here which is fine uh where do we build a thing like this hmm i might build it over here on this island with these trees you know what i'm saying just because why not you know so let's go ahead and clear out i'll just clear out uh this part i guess and then just take care of the grass real quick A little bit of it anyway all right so basically the way i think a zero tick farm works is it forces things to grow within zero game ticks basically it's something that resets a block every tick basically every time there's an in-game tick so basically like a second or something like that or what would be considered a minecraft second would be considered an in-game tick and the way this works is it updates a block every single tick and after 16 blocks things automatically grow it's kind of weird i kind of don't fully understand it but it works a little bit so i mean 
we're gonna have to work why did i bring buckets of water as if there's not a huge thing of water right here. all right so the first thing i don't even know why i emptied those is we're gonna need some dirt uh let's see and i believe we need to do it two above the ground so one two and we're gonna have four little uh things that go out like this destroying these in between and yes i am placing it a little slow i don't know why no i do know why because i don't know why actually <laughs> all right so now that that's built we need sticky pistons now let's see i believe i have 20 sticky pistons yes and i also have 20 regular pistons so the way we're going to set this up is we need to do this and have those so they're touching the block and then the next ones on the other side won't be touching whatsoever oh no no got to be careful with how many of these we use oh come on you're being terrible for me here Maybe I'll just connect them up with um, dirt instead of more sticky pistons in case for some reason something just goes wrong and it despawns it automatically. That wouldn't surprise me. Am I supposed to be using axes for these? I'm actually not sure. I don't really use sticky pistons all that much, oddly enough, despite them being in like a dozen automatic farms up there. Well, I mean... I guess you can use them for that. I don't think that's what you're supposed to use them for necessarily. All right, so now if we like do this on this block. Yeah, so we got this like so. And this is basically going to be pushing the blocks across super, super fast. And I can already tell I'm going to need more uh sticky pistons but luckily enough we have 20 spare pistons that i could just toss some slime on i will need to do some kind of a little slime hunt because currently yeah i don't have too much of that now we need our staircases because we're gonna need to put some water in here all right let me just double check i know where this is gonna go actually okay so before we do that actually let's go ahead and get a couple of observers real quick and do this bit um right there yes there we go destroy that come down to this end also put it in the corner bit we're going to do this on both sides and make sure oh make sure to pick up the spare ones that we drop nope you need to be facing straight up there we go and then last one over here. There we go. All these should be facing, sending a input down anyway. There we go. All right, nice and simple. On to the next part. All right, so let's see. We are gonna need a couple more of those sticky pistons right now, actually. Uh, let's see here, uh, I need to cut down a tree because the one thing I didn't bring with me is a crafting table. I, uh, why did I even cut down that tree? That makes no sense. Well, I guess we have a crafting table now. Okay, uh, let's see. Now, what was I doing here? Okay, I need more slime uh, blocks and a couple extra pistons. I'll probably just grab half of them, considering that's pretty much all I can use at the current moment. Uh, sticky pistons, I can make 10. I'll leave one behind because you never know. All right, where's my dirt blocks so I can kind of pull her up? Oh, did I put them back or something? Oh, okay, yeah, I did by accident. Well, I mean, I'm sure I did it on purpose, but oh well. Okay, so next thing we need to do is we need to place pistons up like this on either side. Eventually, there's going to need to be blocks, um, a block in there where i'm standing on the observer but not at the current moment that'll be like one of the last things we do in this and hopefully i can build this right on the first go when i when i built it in my um other world my the creative world i just showed you guys i uh i might have 
broken it because I'm terrible at redstone and also following directions, I guess. And then this one, we're going to do this all the way around. So we're using up another eight observers. We might actually end up needing a little bit more observers than I thought. Either that or we're going to need more sticky pistons. One of the two. I don't really remember exactly how many more sticky pistons we need. But I feel like we're not going to have enough slime for it. For sure. Uh, the pistons we'll be able to make though. Slime's just the big thing and I don't have a slime farm. Maybe that's something I should think of uh, doing in the future. Find a slime chunk and then build a slime farm. So yeah, now that we have these um, observers in place, it is on, ooh, I fell, on to the next part. All right, now in come, oh, I changed my pickaxe, that was weird. Uh, where are my rails now? Because that's where the next part's coming in here. I have plenty of rails, that's good. Oh, I can make more slime. I think I can turn those into slime blocks anyway. Okay, so I think I want to start at this end. So we start here, and we go all the way down to this. We're going to need an observer facing that way. Here, here, then here, and then another observer. So it goes into this block. And then this can go straight over like that. Now that's going to activate all of these uh, observers, which activates, activates, activates everything up there as well. Alright, now the next thing I believe we're going to do is the water, I think, anyway. Okay, yes, let's do the water real quick. And you know what? We also might as well do the note blocks real quick as well. Because I believe this is the step we're using the note blocks. And we're also going to use some of our actual building blocks as well. Uh, need some dirt just for a little bit of scaffolding. Up to here. Eh, there we go. Nope, there we go. Alright, so this needs to be a note block, and then this is building block. Building, note, uh, note, building. Basically, the building blocks are going to be where the pistons are, if uh, that makes it a little easier for you. All the way across here. Luckily, you don't have to change any of the note blocks to be any specific notes, because that would be, that'd be really bad. <laughs> That would have really, really sucked. Alright, uh, now we have to manage to put this in here all the way around. Eh. And then last ones. And then we can grab our buckets of water. Put this, uh, not away, but just kind of, uh, I. I will probably keep them. You know what? Let's kind of make like a mini staircase going up here. And actually, we also need building blocks here, here, and there. That way, it kind of keeps everything in place. So we need one, two, three more buckets of water. Pretty simple. We'll get this done. Two. There we go. And one. And that is all the water in place for this farm. All right. Let's see here. The next thing we need to do is getting the slime block pusher thing, which I'm only going to put one on for now just to label it. Because I don't quite want to do that just yet, and that's going to go here, I believe. And of course I say that and I would be completely wrong because it actually goes here. So we're going to need, need to... I, I did that in my other one too. I literally did exactly that. So we're going to need 10 more slime blocks to go all the way down here. Next is for the circuitry part. Everything up there except for placing the sugar cane is actually done. And, well, the hoppers and everything. But that's kind of the last thing we need to do. Alright, so let's see. We're going to go ahead and grab repeaters. A lever. Don't know why all the stones in my inventory. We need this. Get rid of that. Our one lever is going to be like kind of the thing we use at the end. Uh, did we grab the dispenser? Nope, because that's coming up as well. A uh, little bit of redstone torch. And maybe some regular pistons as well. Alright, so let's get this one started. Alright, so this is one of the parts that actually confused me. And that's because, for one, you need to do it in this corner, specifically, compared to all of this stuff. Because if you don't, you're really going to mess things up. So we need an observer like this. And then we need to place this like that with that specifically on that side, the single one, and fully extend that. 
Then we need to face this this way with another one pointed at it, except we didn't do that just now, did we? And then we can put a thing here, and then that's where the lever comes in, because this is our on and off switch. So if I do this, that kind of flashes. Now next is going to be another one, another one of uh, the repeaters here. And I believe this one also goes like this, except it's fully extended. And then we're going to put this here with a redstone torch on this side. And then we're going to put a piston with some scaffolding. Not some scaffolding, but uh, I just need some scaffolding at this point. Then we're going to place an observer like... Eh, no, that did not work. I did not plan to put that one right there. There we go. Definitely going to need more observers. I think when I go and sleep for the night again, I will probably just go and grab some. All right, and then we need one here as well, right? Yep, and then we're going to place the dispenser on top of that. Eh, no, I'm so terrible at placing blocks. I'm absolutely horrendous at it. And then we're going to put our lava bucket in there. And as that goes up and down, that's uh, what's going to be uh, making that go on and off. All right, let's see here. Now we need this, like so. Uh, we're going to have to hurry up and sleep before we die. And then this. And then we can go ahead and take a couple more repeaters. And then one goes here and one goes here. In fact, that might change just a little bit. And then this, one of these goes here with... An observer on top, I want to say. It might go on the note block. Hang on, let me go ahead and sleep real quick. Alright, so we're back and I just realized I had this one backwards, I believe. This one, I'm not entirely sure. I know that the block needs to be here where I'm at. So, no, this one's correct. However, I do need to fully extend this out. Now, as for the sticky piston, I believe it goes here, but I could be wrong. It might need to go up just ever so slightly go up one more onto the note block no no i definitely did that one right i just need the observer then a two blocks here anyway and then we're gonna go ahead and break this can we jump over here yes we can and then we're gonna need an observer up how am i gonna do this facing up i think so I can just go ahead and do this. Yep. Now what we're going to need to do here is this. Now if you watch this, this is going to extend this bit. There we go. Now what we need to do is... What? Wait a sec. I'm confused. Hang on. Okay. No, I'm, I'm not confused. There we go. I was confused on why it wasn't retracting for a second there. It was super weird. So basically, now this, now all of a sudden, with all of the circuitry, this block here might actually mess things up, so I'm going to go ahead and remove that. Does this make the loud sound we all know and love? This has lava in it. Get rid of this, just in case, because you never know. There we go. I have the torch there. Work, please. Okay. That did not work. Why did that not work? I do not know. So this should activate these, which... Not entirely sure it did. Hang on. Okay, so that activates that. Okay. But this is not... Activating these? Oh, okay. Okay. Remember when I said we were going to need blocks in here? Yeah, th that's this part that I'm just completely botching because I forgot we needed blocks in there. So I think that's the reason this is not working. Now is this going to be super loud? That's what we want to hear. All right, all right, okay. <laughs> Turn it off. Turn it off. And that should end that just fine. Okay, so... Now we can go ahead and do this. We didn't actually need this, which is nice. 
And then we'll grab hoppers as well to toss into here. Uh, we can use regular uh, smooth stone for this last part as well, I'm thinking. Just because why not? We have a bunch of it. We might as well use it. All right, so if we put... I want to say... Hmm. I think if we do this, and then we put the chest here, that should work. So if we go here, then there, and then we can place all of the um, hoppers. Oh, a little bit laggy there. Out of the back here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There we go. And now we just need blocks for them to bounce off of. Like this. And then, of course, I can't cover the chest over there, or I'm not going to be able to open it. So, I'm going to have to keep an eye on that. So, we should be able to just keep it like this. Should be good. And now, we just need the sugar cane. But, uh, we don't have all that much uh, slime blocks. So, I'm going to go ahead and finish off the slime block line. Get all the slimes we need for this. Put them on. And then we will come back and test this as soon as we are able to. Okay, yep, so that's awesome. Just killed a drowned, and he managed to drop me this doohickey. So sweet. I'm actually on my way back from my little escapade with um, gathering up a little bit of slime. And now I've got a trident, so that's awesome. So I'm going to go fix that as well as uh, finish the slime, but I'll do the slime first. And it's so funny, because look. This ice thing, literally 1,500 blocks away from spawn. So that sucks. Okay, so I made it back with literally one rocket to spare. So let's go over here and make our slime blocks. Um, how many do we need? We need 11 in total, and I think we already have two up there. So let's go ahead and make nine. Uh, oh, did we put away our scaffolding blocks? Yes, we did. Okay. We're going to need these these there we go <laughs> couldn't figure out which one it was for a second there and then we're gonna need to jump over to here and then place all of these all the way down to here and then boop and now we just got to place this in and then i'm gonna let this run for about an hour this is empty i'm gonna actually keep this stack in the shulker box so i'm gonna let this run for about an hour uh, and see how well it does. So I will, uh, it's 749 now, so cool. about 850 I think I'll be back and I'll show you guys just how much this actually did. And I'm gonna camp out probably right here actually, just in case. So let's see. Let me build a little AFK tent. Like so. And then I am just gonna chill here. I want to make sure I'm within range of it because it would be as if I'm uh, AFKing here, you know what I mean? So I want to make sure that it's going to give me all the resources that I should be getting from it, no matter what. Right, so jump up here, jump, and then I can just slap a roof on this thing. Slap the roof. You can fit 8,000 doohickeys in here, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. All right, so let's go ahead and place these after I eat. And then we can close this up. We'll start this. All right. I will see you guys in an hour. All right. It has been an hour. Let's turn that off. Um, judging from that although that could ju that could mean anything really judging from that it seems like is this uh oh my god the whole double chest is full oh wow and every single one of the hoppers is full in an hour i have all of the sugar cane wow and who knows how much of it despawned so let's see. Let's see how much of this I can get into a shulker box. And then how much still fills up. It's going to take a minute. Gee whiz. This is literally so much. 
All right, that's all of the boxes emptied. And we have not one, not two, not three, but just under four shulker boxes worth of sugar cane. That's insane. That's literally absolutely crazy. Let me do the math on that real quick. Okay, so I just counted it up. We have 6,732 pieces of sugar cane just in these shulker boxes. Wow. I don't think I need to update this to be any larger when I build it on the server because that is way more than I am ever going to need on the server. Literally ever, which is amazing. And then I can also make a cactus one and a bamboo one, which I think we're also going to do this week. Now, I can show you guys these as I put this away real quick. I finished the pillars and they actually look really good compared to, you know, what I... Did. I had to move the furnaces over here, or the super smelter over there. That way I could have this equal with the other three. But that's what they look like on my base. Not too even, but you know what? I don't care. I still think they look good. And on e in each and every single one of them is one of these. A uh, little bit of a storage room, which I can now fill up a little bit, or a little bit more, because I've already emptied out what I've had into all of those. So I've got quite a bit of uh, sugar cane to go. Let me just go ahead and fill all these in. All right, so after emptying all of my shulker boxes, we officially have one, two, three, four, five, and a half, roughly, double chests full of sugar cane, which is quite a bit. So that is something that's going to be going to very good use uh, on the server very soon. But I'd like to thank all of you guys for watching. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment down below. Uh, if you are going to try building this, because uh, I don't think any casual player ever would, but I am nothing, I am everything but a casual player for the most part. And as always, uh, subscribe if you're new, and I will see all of you guys in the next video. Peace.